Well, here we are, Capital One Arena, home once again, and as you can probably tell, the court set up for the Georgetown Hoyas. But that's not the only setup we have here at Capital One Arena. We can turn it into a hockey rink, a concert venue, and most importantly, the home of your Washington Wizards. So who's responsible for this and how did it get it all done? That brought to mind the fact that the Wizards are about to debut their City Edition court. And with that in mind, I said, let's take a behind the scenes sneak peek on how this beautiful plan all comes together. Darius, how you doing? How are friend? you, sir? I am very well. I've been waiting to talk to you mm -hmm. because this is like low-key one of my favorite things to discuss. The house becoming the house for multiple different events, and I couldn't help but notice the reason we're here. In this corner, you got a hockey wall, but yet I see the flooring is down to protect the ice because right now the court is set up for a Georgetown Hoyas basketball game. One, how does one even get into like the logistics of how you guys pull this off? There are night elves, if you will, this time of the season, right? You know, you walk out at 11 for us after a game or after an event, and we come back at 7, 8 in the morning, and it's turned over. So the magic happens at night. There's a great team that does it, led by some phenomenal folks that have been doing it for quite a long time. Some nights where we've got to <laughs> hop to it, you know, because the previous night, either overtime game or uh, concert parties a little bit too hard and goes a little bit too late into the night. I was going to say, I don't envy the cleanup yeah, crew. Shout yeah. out to them for being yes, able to turn it over because they do. A, that's, that is a critical a, part of it. Absolutely. Well. Yes. And when I'm thinking about the fact that I know that we house the Wizards here, obviously the Caps, the Mystics play a couple of games here as yes. well. You mentioned the concerts. Yes. How quickly do you turn it from hockey game? or yes. basketball game into entertainment space for the city. For most nights, on average, a good, give us a good five, six hours, they can make just about anything happen. Now, there are some nuances whether or not we're going to a dirt event mm. uh, with monster trucks, so that's a little bit different. It's all built on layers. We have, as you mentioned, mm. the ice underneath. Back in the old days, for the folks that paid top dollar on the floor 25 years ago, yeah. this was the coldest spot. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, because it feels good were, in here. Their feet were freezing, but now with this new material, technology is coming to place. You can hardly tell if you didn't know you have ice underneath your feet. Wow. I heard that the City Edition Court is in the building. It is. It has not been laid down yet. It is not. I want to see it. Yes. I want to smell it. Yes. Right French. this way. Right all this right, way. All right. Just arrived this morning. Yes. Offloaded. Talk to me. You know, the creative process started, you know, springtime. Mm. So there's a design team that uh, imagines what it should look like and theme, you know, because the connection between the sports team and the city that they represent are, are, are deep. And so it tells the story just as Cherry Blossoms told the story last year. The story that they want to tell this year is about the Boundary Stone. So it's a phenomenal design. And we are as excited to see it, really. We've kind of seen it on paper. Yes. So when we're laying, we're almost as excited as anyone else to kind of see it come to fruition. So we're excited as well. Sure. So right now over here, it just came in. So usually what happens, it gets sanded, the design gets painted. Sorry. And this court, little known fact, this in fact was the classic edition court from last year. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You mean to tell me the classic edition court that we all enjoy yes. is now the city edition court yes. for this year? Yes, and then we repurposed because this court was brand new last year and we will hold on to this for uh, about 10 years or so. Uh, and in that 10 years, it may have a couple of different wardrobe changes. So you then, will. so now you know I have to ask you if that's what happened to the 25 year court what happened to the cherry blossom court from last year? So we repurposed that one to, to do for our in season court, that design. Wow. Uh, it's a magic, it goes together much like a, a puzzle piece. It just weighs a little heavier and just like a good puzzle, start with the corners and work your way in. I see something that I think I can recognize here. So I'm seeing the color palette. Yes, yes, yes. a little sneak peek on some of the colors that they've chosen. So 15 rows that makes up the court. Each, each row has about 15 planks in it. Uh, about 150 pounds each plank. So obviously the team that are offloading it, forklift it out, and then a team of uh, two to four 
grab the individual panels themselves and starts putting it down and putting a proverbial puzzle together. And I'm seeing they're all numbered? Yes, so. numbered them because the rows are lettered and numbered, so we just we kind of know what, what happens. So if you have a child that's really good at putting together puzzles, they can knock it this apart. is their this future. Is, yeah. You have a spot in the NBA yes. if you're good at puzzles. Yes. There's, thank you so very much. I cannot wait to see this in person for myself, to give you guys the flowers for being like spectacular yes. at what you do. I appreciate it. Oh, appreciate thank it. you, brother. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you, sir.